New mortgage applications have uh, jumped in the past week. That doesn't mean that uh, you are going to be able to avoid, uh, depending on which lender you use, some of these excessive fees that, uh, that come around at yeah, closing time. Yeah, you kind time. of think that with all the explosion in demand of, uh, of, of mortgages in the last few years, that may have uh, reduced the, the cost of the mortgage companies and, and, and you'd see that coming down in, in fees. But no, this is a straight supply and demand thing. Lots of people getting mortgages and they're sneaking some fees in there. Jim Nutter is with James B. Nutter Mortgage. Uh, he's... Uh, uh, really uh, trying to educate people about these fees. He describes them as junk fees, telling home buyers to beware. Jim joins us now. Good to more. see you, Jim. Can, hi there. Uh, I got to tell you, I, I don't, and, and you're really the expert on refinancing, but how do you even know what's a junk fee and what's not? I get my phone bill every month, and there are fees on there that I think are junk, and you get your, there are all sorts of bills where they build in administrative fees and all sorts of things. How do you know when it comes to a mortgage? Because you're not familiar with it. Well, actually, administrative fee is one of those fees that is a junk fee. Uh, but uh, basically, if it uh, quacks like a duck and it looks like a duck, it sort of is a duck. Right. Um, the, the big junk fees are processing fee, underwriting fee, broker processing fee, broker origination fee, document preparation fee, because these are all... Uh, uh, extra fees that us as a mortgage banker already do. This right? is the cost of doing business this for you. This, this should be included in what you make off the mortgage. Exactly. This is the cost that we as a company for 53 years have been doing right. and not charging these fees and and and, and getting by as a, as a company and, and I think it's good business to not charge these fees. Right, but you know lawyers have been doing this forever, right? They charge you their hourly fee and then they charge you for every phone call they make and every photocopy they make. Ha it doesn't, doesn't make it illegal, right? Not as long as they disclose it up front. Right. That's the whole key. If they disclose it up front, it is not illegal. Right. Unfortunately, these all started off as $25 here, $50 here. We are now talking about $500 for a processing fee, $500 for a closing fee. We are now talking about easily $1,500, $2,000. HUD has uh, come out against junk fees. Right. They estimate on an average mortgage loan, it costs seven hundred dollars extra charges. The extra, not not the legitimate charges. Not legitimate. About. Extra charges. So if I, I've calculated it based on the two thousand and three volume, that means seventeen billion dollars was charged on these junk fees to borrowers across America that went straight into lenders' pockets. And that just isn't right. The, the borrowers of America should be upset about mm -hmm. this. And they were probably down, even if they're getting it on a good faith estimate, they're probably far enough down the road. It's not easy to put together a mortgage application. By the time you fill out all the documents, photocopy everything they need, you're, you're worn down at the point that you get that oh. good faith estimate, and, and you might be inclined just to pay it to get on with it. Well, yeah, that's it's a bad time to pull out of a deal. Yeah, that's why you need to do this up front before you sign anything. You need to uh, basically ask three questions. We, we have the smartest borrowers in America there's ever been, the most sophisticated borrowers ever. They know to ask the interest rate. They know to ask the term. They just need to go one step further and ask the closing cost. If, for instance, you've got it down to two lenders and company A and company B are both the same interest rate, and they're both the same term, and company A charges $1,000 of closing costs, and company B charges $2,500 of closing costs, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go with a guy <laughs> charging $1,000 of closing costs and getting the same deal. One of the things that, uh, that you made a comment on in a letter you wrote to USA Today right. was that something that's been advocated by some that are pushing for reform here is, is a one fee. It's all rolled into one fee. You say the problem with that is that then you hide the junk. You, you can hide it. It would be the first time in, in consumer-oriented history that you'd actually hide something from the consumer, okay? Yeah. Uh, I want the, the consumer, the borrower, to be able to ask that person face-to-face, -face, why are you charging me this $500 fee? Right. Why are you charging me this $500 fee? The problem with that, Jim, is that the response often is, oh, that's standard. That's, that's the processing fee. You're going to pay that everywhere. That is, so, that is so correct. And that's what makes me so mad is when I hear that, that means they're lumping our you company and, and my company into this. And we don't charge this. And we never have, and we're not going to. are you 1% of the industry, or are you 20% of the industry? How many people don't charge us? In other words, has, this, has the industry run away with these fees to the point that it, it just becomes the way it is? Well, un unfortunately, I believe we're in the minority. Right. 
I, I can't give an exact fee to a percent right now. But I can tell you, just for us, as a company, we don't believe we need to charge that. We, I want to shoot you the straight scoop. Right. Okay? And I believe that's good business. Okay? Because I want to get you back. Right. For right. your next, you want the deal. next deal, mm -hmm. okay. You don't want me to be upset about it and not come back to you because and I want out you something. to tell your cousin, yeah. your brother, your sister, your your neighbor yeah. to, to come to James McNutter and Company. Um, we're in this for the long haul. We've yeah. been around for 53 years. Hopefully, for another 53 years. I believe that's good business. Yeah. Um, uh, again, but that's what makes me so mad is that when they say, "Oh, everybody charges it," because then we get lumped into it. Jim, good to have you here. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. Jim is the president and CEO of James B. Nutter Mortgages.